Well, the auto rickshaw was born in Italy in the 50s and uh, gradually it came into India and uh, as you know, it's uh, a vehicle which has transported millions. But time has come when this humble three-wheeler gets a makeover. The cute is the vehicle which will give it that makeover. Now this is not a car, Bajaj is very, very sure about it. They are not calling it a car in spite of it having four wheels, but it's a quadrilla cycle. Now what is a quadricycle? Well, it's a very, very complex question which has taken a lot of time and a lot of court cases to fulfill. The first quadricycle to come into India was actually called the Maini Riva. It was a full electric vehicle and was sold in the UK as the g -Wiz. And that g -Wiz was a quadricycle. Quite simply then, it's not a car, it's not a three-wheeler, it's somewhere in between. Taxation is different, certain states are going to make it cheaper, certain states are going to make it a little more expensive. There's a lot of use of plastic in this vehicle and the bonnet, the doors are all plastic and as you can see it's riveted around here much like auto rickshaws but inside this shell is a steel monocoque now this car has been built to a budget and that means features are kept to a bare minimal now there's a nice big headlight out here it looks nice it's a single piece unit and you see this air scoop down here this is a little bit of a party piece for the cute this is actually an air intake system which sends air from here into the cabins and it blows into your mouth now it's also got a decent sized boot it opens the other way with the key now you have the key you press the key and there you go. If I open it like that, you've got a bit of storage space there. It's got uh, decent 12 inch wheels with four lug nuts, drum brakes all around, a nice little mud flap out there, mirrors on both sides. That's where the fuel goes in. So now this is a mono fuel vehicle. So that means it is either CNG or petrol and it will only run on either CNG or petrol. So it doesn't have a dual fuel uh, contraption out here so that's nice very very cheap to maintain is what the peg to this vehicle is and looks quite interesting you see this little thing out here now these are the air scoops or rather the air vents which I showed you earlier and you can tune this also and it gives a nice little breeze of air when you are going next uh, you've got a nice decent looking speedometer which uh, offers plenty of data like you can see there's a fuel gauge there's a speedometer it tells you you're running on cng it's got a gear indicator odo clock and the works so quite a lot of info on this speedometer now as you can see there are these twin glove boxes provided here which are lockable now there's another fun bit about this car which is this little audio system it's a usb and sd card reader and and although the sound is ludicrous but it's still there it still gives you a little bit of music on the go and right on top sits the gearbox which is sequential yes it's sequential gear shifting i'll come to that a little later and then here is your spare tire this is the cng variant i'm driving today and if you have the non-cng variant you can up the seat back and there's a little bit of storage space there as well at the back you have decent space for two people and if I fold down those seat bags, it's a 60-40 split. You can also get a nice little loading bay. The Cute is powered by a little 220cc four-stroke liquid-cooled engine, which is mated to a five-speed gearbox, which is operated via the sequential hand shifter, which you saw earlier. Now, much like the Nano, the Cute 2 is a rear engine and rear wheel drive vehicle. So what it means is the engine sits like that it's a nicely positioned engine and this is a single cylinder engine turns at about 13 horsepower and uh, sounds like a rickshaw engine i must say it's a bit noisy for sure and the more you rev it, the more noisy it gets inside. But if you tend to keep it nice and docile, you will be able to speak to your co-passenger 
or the one sitting at the back. The motor is uh, pretty smooth, although it's a, a nice little vibey, chirpy motor and it gets to speed really quickly and it's very easy to hit the rev limiter on this one. Qt has been capped to 70 kmph and that is why it is, feels very different. The motor has a lot more power to give, it can go faster, but it is a quadricycle so it cannot go beyond 70 kmph. The steering wheel is also very direct. You know the turns are very easy. Making a U-turn is so much easier on this car. It's a 7 meter turning circle. The brakes are drums all around. So you just need to plan your braking a bit. But the best thing about the Qt is its fuel efficiency. 35 kmph is what Bajaj is claiming. And that should keep Indians very very happy. But overall, if you tell me whether it's better than an auto rickshaw, yep, it is. Expect a price of around 2.5 lakhs for the Qt in the petrol variant and a slightly more expensive version will be the CNG version.